dogs. Yeah, did I tell you that I gave my coat, right? Got a phone call. The Lord said to charge him, not an arm and a leg, but <clears throat> 1500 And then Seventeen seconds. I just looked at the time to check it was going, and then Click presented us with his site, Pulp Fiction, the briefcase, five five five. And guess how much the robbery was for? The briefcase was sold. Fifteen hundred dollars. That's what they took, rather than the briefcase full of souls. You know the gold, the only resource the Lord wants is here, are the souls. Imagine how he feels. You think he's going to be gentle. How many have they killed? How many will they kill? His children were taken in the trap, yeah. But how do you feel? You're a father. You can't get them all back. Is a free will. Their prodigals are rebellious, so I chose to go home, probably right at the beginning. Anyway, this is a build testimony because I have my dog testimony. Remember, I was trying to find this, so I wake up in the morning, I don't know what I'm going to do. The Lord's building this building, it's on a nice blue wrap stitched up a little bit like um yeah who's the man they put the electric charge on each side of his head and uh comes to life you know from the horrors it'll be a hitchcock one won't it so anyway um this is how i got saved i'm showing you this a serenity prayer don't throw the baby out of the bath water i went to Al-Anon. my father was an alcoholic and I did the first step and um, phoned someone to take me to church because I knew this, except the things I cannot change. So I need to accept what you can't change. You don't pray for them, okay? Because he ain't going to be gentle. Now, when I put this away, there was only one crack in it. Now there's three, so it's getting worse and worse. Choose this day whom you will serve. But as for me in my house, I will serve the Lord. Joshua 24, 15. There we go. So I'm just looking. I have to move this to show you what I see. And I haven't got eyes like Clark. I've got ears like Lisa. Because the Lord said I was ears. So I'm not trying to say I've got ears, but I am creative. I've got... I'm an artist and a builder, light click, isn't it weird? We're the only two angels at the moment in action. There's seven, so there must be five more that come into action after the fire. But I'm here for the glory. Right, so I need a wee poke fault through hole for the dogs. Because we can't have them not seeing, right? They are guard dogs. So I've got that little hole down there, which I need to fill so I don't lose a puppy. This is my space. <coughs> what am I going to fill that with? Oh, I'm going to fill it with my plaque. So this is action. I'm going to use quite a lot of polyurethane. And I'm going to insert it in there in a beautiful timber frame. Gorgeous, eh? Yeah, because if you go to their house, and there's ones that live down there that have opened a shop called Whispering Spirit. <gasps> Ooh, it's a whispering spirit. It ain't the Holy Spirit. No, they're nice people. They pulled me out of the, a ditch when I first arrived here. They're from Thames. The girl is, the woman, she's from Thames. She knows um, my husband's family. I met her parents. They know my husband's family, my first husband, Josh, Joseph, drug and alcohol counsellor, and he wasn't a Christian when he met me, but he thanked me for sharing my Jesus, and now he's an Anglican minister. Isn't that nice? So here we are, and I've done 
that. Now that came from Brian. Look. Right? It's from a shower. It fits from here to here. So I can fix it back. Now did I know that that was going to perfect, be perfect measurement? No, I didn't. This piece of timber, this is just another day, was an upright that went up to here. And I cut it off once and placed it along here. And that's the end I cut because it wasn't straight, see? Because I'm not a perfectionist, no. I ain't. And it matched where I'd finished my timber. Already, before I cut it. So now I'm like thinking, right, then what am I going to do here? Because it's sort of not nice and I need to straighten if you look at the line. You'll see it goes a little crooked and I need to firm that up, that top of that fence. Plus, it's nice to rest a cup. So, I'm getting short timber. I want to use something nice. I haven't got anything like that. I know that. But I do have a big cover with timber in it, on it that I got from a... Um, oh, he ran joinery classes for teenagers and I got all his beautiful timber. It's not just Rimu, which is a native here. It's a whole lot of uh, exotic trees that you guys might recognise, like American pine and things like that. Anyway, I also pick up recycled materials. So all that exotic material was going in the beautiful room to line it in timber. I'm just going to film that and say trap door. Because it is a little bit like, well, let's just say, was it Jane Eyre? <clears throat> you know who I'm talking about, the orange and the black pair of shoes. They had to live in a small space for a long time, didn't they? Someone knocked them out. You will get knocked out. <clears throat> but you will have ears to hear if you listen to this message. So I'm thinking, what am I going to put here? And I've come back from my walk, because I walk for a good 30 minutes every day with the dogs. And I lift up the tarp, it's got all the nice timber, but I've got this shitty bit of oak. Now oak's not a bad timber, it's a very good hardwood. And um, the oak tree is what they call the tree of life. I didn't know I was going to say that, but it is. So have a look at the other side, they have a tree of life, a symbol, and they use the oak. And that's what I saw in my vision. I saw the oak tree above a lake, and it raised up out of the ground, and there was native bush on either side. I knew it was an exotic tree. It was too perfect. It wasn't like ours. Its root system was the same size as its branches, and there was dirt falling from it. It's very vivid. And it didn't want to touch the earth. And it was me. And the swallows were flying in and out of it. And I could tell by their wings. And then that day Jack Condon picked me up. And he took me for a drive. And I saw the same birds. I said, what are they? And he said, barn swallows. They come here every year and they fly. They migrate. You'll see them in the barns in England. You'll see them in America at the naval bases. They catch them in nets and sell them to the local restaurants. Yeah, where are all the barn swallows gone? So that's one of my um, little gold trails. So anyway, I see this and I think, oh, well, let's see what we can do. You put enough polyurethane on a hardwood and it's very, very uh, resilient outside. And I know I need it here. And I sit it there. And I think, okay, Lord, I know this is going to fit. And I stand back and uh, I 
it fits. And I think, oh, good God. Now, it's never two out of three ain't bad. You know the song by Meatloaf, is it? Two out of three ain't bad. You know how he sings that song, Meatloaf? It's his best love song. Love song, you hear it all the time. That's because I'm the angel. That shows you what love is. And asks you to come back to it, you idiots. You can have a honeymoon with the Lord. So the other place I thought I might want it would be here. Because you don't want to stand here and look at the sunset and not be able to put your drink somewhere. And let's have a look if it fits. One. We don't shuffle. We sidestep. <laughs> we sidestep. 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 Ta da! Praise the Lord. Tribute. Praise the Lord. Now, this one's eyes are gentle. And this is the one that replaces Michael. Angel. So he said, I want Michael. Michael's eight months old. Who rings up someone and says they want their dog like that? I said, no, you can't have Michael. That's my flesh. That's the coat I didn't want to give. Till I woke up in the morning and the Lord said, give him Michael, charge him 1500 I didn't. I, I could have given it, but the Lord said, charge him because it's robbery. It's paid for the dog. He paid for the timber $500 on his account and I paid him and that that was a final payment now he doesn't talk to me the dragon has got feet on the ground Brian I rung him and he's decided he's not talking to me either and I've known Brian four years it's because he tried to ring me three times in one day and I didn't answer Paul's like that as well they're all having paddy wagons because they're all fucking going away in a paddy wagon because they're in prison. Anyway, here's Michael. Come here, Angel. Show us your beauty. Now, Michael was fire twin. Because Michael had a strip along the side. And he was the first black and white. And I called him fire twin. And then the Lord said, call him Michael. Michael, who is like God. He's the one that kicked Satan's ass. So he wanted the one that kicked his ass, Graham, Queen, and he got him. Yeah. And then I got this one. Fires had two more puppies and they're black and whites and we didn't expect it. She said 12 and three black and whites. The other one was called Pirate because it only had one eye that was a patch. I never take a patch dog. The Lord would never give me a patch eye dog. Of my litter, I've had three patch eye dogs, and they've all got great double down histories that I'm not going to bother sharing. I'm telling you about Mike L. Mike L. With E L in it. First time mentioned Genesis 2. The Potter, who I hope to God had for, has formed you. Because you were created as Satan's spawn. Yes, he's your father until you're adopted back into the family of God. So decide today who you'll serve, you're either in or out. And guess what Michael's middle name was? The Lord told me when I was down at Londonary Rock, which is over there, the big boulder that's... See these boulders? It would be four of those boulders put together maybe even five gold miners dug around it's never go never going to move it's very spiritual met a man he's he hears his whispering spirits there too well i go there and feel nothing because they are nothing <laughs> they're just a vain show and imagination we think we hear them but they're just copycats they don't really have a spirit here anymore. But they, I don't know what's going on. It's like, I know they see them crouching and and I've not seen, I've only seen one demonic, I've only seen one thing demonic. 
and it was because Teddy's losing the jacket. It was the evening my um, children's uncle died. I went for a walk up the hill with my girlfriend before we went to a party and he was at home dead. And there were these little red eyes in the in the in the bush line, New Zealand bush line, and little red line eyes. I'm not kidding. I was straight. I was 22. I was unsaved. Little red eyes, and I could see they were just like little gnome people. And I asked my friend if she saw them. She hadn't. So I seen that with my own naked eye. And then I come home, and he didn't answer the door. And I run round the back, and he's sitting up there dead watching TV. Yeah. TV. He suffocated on his own spew. And that's my brother's uncle. And he died for me. He died for me. So don't screw this up. You should together go and see Clack. Listen to what I've said. And if you're still here, find out who those other five angels are and listen to them. And there we go. Perfect fit. Testimony. It's going to rain. Try and get as much as I can done today. Oh! Angel! <whistles> Down there. I haven't got a middle name for her. Guess what Michael's middle name is? Told you about the rocks. Londonary Rock. Well, the Lord showed me his middle name. Michael Destroy is his middle name. Destroy. So... We lost Tribute, whose middle name was Fierce. And we lost Michael, whose middle name was Destroy. So they can have that. And we have a replacement, which is Angel and Tribute too. It's an S sweet. So we've been in a holding pattern. We've given them everything we had. We wanted to give them yellow even. It wasn't just me who sacrificed. We've all, like many of us have, the Lord said, but your reward, yellow, guess what our reward is? The harvest. I swear. And God is my oath. It's the harvest. It's ours, so celebrate. Good times. Celebrate. Have you seen me dancing on my fire hearth? That's the beautiful room. So when Babylon falls in just one hour, you know where to go. Praise the Lord through your adversity because they're doing it in heaven. Because they have the big picture. Do you see the big picture? Do you hear the Lord? Well, I asked the Lord what I was. When Clark said he was the eyes, I said, oh, my Lord, and he pointed me. to Ezekiel and said I was the ears and it was Ezekiel 3 Click had 33 he's had 3 as well but yeah I'm a watchman and I'm accountable that's why I haven't shut up I haven't shut up even though when the Lord had me first start doing YouTube he told me no one would watch now who the hell does that for 4 years doesn't shut up when you know it's pointless because everyone gets hurt it well, someone who's working for him. Because it's not for a reward here. Because there ain't no rewards here. Except the Lord God who you have. And you are so privileged to be his temple. So get to up. Start turning now like a clock in the right direction. The Lord will do it for you. But you need that first step. It's called falling in love. It's a process, but it's going to be really quick. Lots of honeymoons. Lots of beautiful honeymoons and good things. Right, come on, angel. All right, bless, I love you. 19 minutes, 17. Bye.